Is your PC slower than it should be? Maybe you're experiencing stutters, low FPS drops, and even long load times. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a full optimization guide on Windows settings, Nvidia control panel tweaks, and even advanced driver settings to make your PC faster, smoother, and more responsive for both gaming and everyday use. We'll also cover Fortnite specific tips and maybe a few secret tweaks that pros actually use. First, cut down on startup apps. Press Control Shift and Escape to go to your startup tab and disable anything you don't need. Fewer background apps means faster boot times and more resources for gaming. Next, remove bloatware or any malware. Go to settings, apps, and sort by install date and uninstall anything you never use. If you bought a pre-built PC or even a laptop, probably came with a lot of trialware or even malware that's slowing down your PC. So I'd go in and uninstall those. A few simple ones that I've uninstalled on my laptop is apps like Norton and even the Namek Audio app. Those are two apps that I would uninstall because those make your PC run slower. Also just makes your audio worse. I want you guys to go to your control panel Go to power options and make sure you're on high performance or even ultimate performance if you're on a good PC. This stops your CPU from throttling to save power. Also, while you're in here, I want you guys to set all these settings right here to never. Now we're just going to go into change advanced power settings. And in here, I want you guys to scroll down to you find processor power management. And I want you guys to go into minimum processor state and maximum processor state and make sure they're all on 100. Now you guys can just apply and then OK. And now we're done with our power plant settings. Now I want you guys to turn off your visual effects. These animations look nice, but they cost performance. Now go to settings system about go to advanced system settings, go to performance settings and choose adjust for best performance or manually disable the effects you don't really care about. Now we're going to move on to some of our storage settings. Go to settings, storage, storage sense, and make sure it's turned on. And make sure you clear your temp files. But for a deeper clean, search for disk cleanup and remove old system files. Before we tweak even more settings, make sure you guys have the latest drivers installed. Now open the NVIDIA app. If you still use GeForce Experience, I'd recommend switching to the new NVIDIA app since it's faster and has a cleaner interface. Go to the drivers section. If your drivers are older than a month, update them by clicking download and then install. I'd recommend checking for updates weekly. This ensures you have the latest optimization and fixes for games. Next, go to the global graphics tab. RTX dynamic vibrance is going to be set to off. Battery boost is going to be set to off. CUDA GPUs, select your main GPU. Smooth motion, off. Low latency mode is going to be on ultra or on. Image sharpening is going to be off. Max frame rate, off. Vulkan slash OpenGL is going to be set to auto. Power management mode is going to be on prefer maximum performance. Shader cache size is going to be default. And VSync is going to be off. Only enable VSync if you have a lot of screen tearing. Now open in the NVIDIA control panel, go to adjust image settings with preview and then select use advanced 3D image settings. Then click take me there. Now we're just going to edit some of our settings. Image sharpening should be off. Ambient inclusion is going to be off. A nice atropic filtering is going to be on application controlled. This is optional. You can set it to 4x or 8x. Anti-aliasing mode. This needs to be on override application settings. 2x for lower NPCs and 4x for mid to high range. Anti-aliasing transparency needs to be off. Background application max frame rate is off. CUDA GPUs, select your main GPU. Dynamic boost is going to be on. This can be on plus boost if you have a newer series graphics card, but I do not. Low latency mode is going to be set to ultra or on. Max frame rate is going to be off. OpenGL rendering GPU, like I said, just select your main GPU. Power management mode is, should be on preferred maximum performance. Shader cache settings is going to be on driver default. Texture filtering, a nice atropic sampling optimization is going to be off. Texture filtering is going to be on negative LOD bias clamp. Texture filtering quality is going to be on high performance. Thread optimization is going to be on auto. Triple buffering is going to be off or on if you're using VSync and VSync off. On only if you're experiencing screen tearing. Now we're going to click apply to save changes. These settings ensure your DPU is running at maximum performance while minimizing unnecessary processes that can lower your FPS or increase latency. Okay, now we're just going to go into something a little bit more advanced. We're going to download the NVIDIA profile inspector from GitHub. You can get this link in the description in my Discord or you can just look it up on Google. So we're just going to download the zip right here from GitHub. You can extract it to your desktop or you can just extract it to your downloads folder. Now we're just going to run it as an administrator. Now we're just going to look up Fortnite with a capital F. If you're using my preset, like I I said join my discord go to the tweaks channel and then download fts doms 2025 nvidia profile inspector and then to import it you just click this little import button and then you import profiles and then you select the profile that you want to apply you can use potato mode or you can just use the normal tweaks but if you just want to do it manually make sure you enable all g-sync options so g-sync application mode needs to be set on full screen and windowed g-sync application request date needs to be on g-sync application state needs to be on g-sync global features needs to be on maximum pre-rendered frames needs to be set to one for the lowest input 
input delay and this kind of requires a mid to high end pc otherwise just keep using the 3d application setting but now we're just going to set our preferred refresh rate to the highest available v-sync like i said this just needs to be on force off for our anti-aliasing settings fx aa needs to be on disallowed gamma correction needs to be on line gamma needs to be on default mf aa needs to be off transparency multi sampling needs to be disabled anti-aliasing transparency super sampling needs to be on aa underscore mode underscore replay underscore mode underscore all anti-aliasing mode needs to be on override any application setting and for texture filtering a nice tropic filtering optimization needs to be on same for sample optimization and then scrolling down filtering needs to be off for both these lod bias settings these both need to be set to one or they're going to be set to anywhere in between two or three just so you guys can have potato graphics if you want those other than that just set it to one quality needs to be on high performance and then you just apply the changes once you're done also i want you guys to right click your desktop go to background go to personalization and make sure your background is on a solid color you do not want your background to be animated while you're in game because that's just going to limit your frames now we're just going to move on to our gaming settings go into settings gaming and game mode make sure game mode is enabled this prioritizes game performance by minimizing background tasks now we're just going to move on to our hardware acceleration inside of game mode you can click the little advanced graphics setting now we're just going to add fortnite you can find this easily by just going to your drive where fortnite is installed clicking epic games clicking fortnite clicking fortnite game clicking binaries 164 and scrolling down until you find your fortnite client and your fortnite launcher and make sure all these are on high performance this can lower input lag and smooth out gameplay now inside of game settings we're just going to disable our xbox game bar this is optional if you guys do not use xbox game bar it frees up a small but measurable amount of resources all right now let's fix something a lot of people completely overlook your network settings if your internet connection isn't optimized you can have the best pc in the world and still get lag spikes first up let's talk about dns settings by default your isp chooses your dns server but switching to something faster like google's dns or even cloudflare's dns can shave milliseconds off your ping to change this open your network adapter settings go to properties select ipv4 and manually set those addresses next flush your dns cache just open command prompt as admin and type ipconfig slash flush dns this clears old network data and forces your pc to use the fastest possible routes also make sure wi-fi is at 5 gigahertz band not 2.4 gigahertz you'll get way less interference and more stable speeds and if you really want to take it to the next level i did a full video on exalag it's a game routing software that can cut down ping and packet loss that guide shows my exact settings and tests so check it out after this video i'll link it in the description or the top right hand corner now we're just going to move on to our fortnite settings i want you guys to head into fortnite and inside the settings the general settings make sure you guys are using full screen mode or windows full screen mode set your resolution to native vsync needs to be off frame rate limit needs to be at 120 fps and make sure your performance is on the newest dx12 dx12 offers a lot more for newer gpus and makes your pc run faster and it's just an advanced version of the old performance mode it ensures things actually load properly because in the old performance mode things like bushes trees even sometimes terrain would be messed up now make sure your 3d resolution is set to your native or for me i like mine set at anywhere between 70 and 90. this is really good for performance also going down dynamic 3d resolution i would just keep this off this is just going to increase your 3d resolution as the game goes on this doesn't really make sense to even have on just keep this off now scrolling down to our graphics tab make sure textures are on low view distance should be at medium or far and make sure your meshes are turned to low now let's move on to our gaming settings i'm just going to scroll other way down and make sure every single one of your replays are turned off what this is going to do is it's just going to free up space and you're not going to be recording in the background which is just going to limit your frame rate so after doing this you should notice faster boot times smoother desktop performance and higher fps in fortnite it can make even lower to mid-range pcs feel brand new so that's the ultimate guide for windows i'd appreciate if you guys drop a like and subscribe this should really help me out i'll see you guys in one of those videos